As some of you know, I draw comics, and I assume many of you do too, and well, I thought I'd share, or even possibly give away, some of my how to draw tutorial books. So welcome back you guys, this is Citria, C-E-T-R-I-Y-A, and today I would like to share you guys with some of my older tutorial books that I have used and since then have grown from and figured that perhaps one of you who are new to drawing comics or probably have an area that you want to work on, you'd like to go ahead and get one of these books. So first and foremost, the simple rules to these giveaway is simply just comment below uh, which one of these books that I'll be showing that you would like to get. The contest or giveaway is open to both the United States, Canada, and the UK, or yeah, the UK, and the reason being is I just find it much more um, stable postal service to send there so I would like to send it to more areas of international post but those seem to be the three areas that are easiest for the book and I figured since you guys have been watching me and subscribe to me that it, this would be a wonderful thank you perhaps later on in the future if I have some more books that I have grown out of I'll go ahead and share it with you guys and possibly give those away so for the first book that I am giving away is the How to Draw Amazing Effects Volume 7. The How to Draw series, uh, manga series was, I wouldn't say popular, but it was definitely the one that a lot of people have either heard of or touched on or even rented from per se the library and stuff. And um, the availability for these books are kind of patchy, uh, add to the fact that I think now so much of the books is uploaded to the internet. But uh, just a little short little funny thing that I found was the fact that the covers are different for the American brand versus the Japanese brand. Uh, they, for some reason in America, tend to redo the covers for either, for example here, a sexy chick or a beautiful guy and you look inside the actual book or sometimes they'll change the subtitle to hopefully get more people to buy the book. But it's kind of misleading. I guess it's like the earlier version of like clickbait basically in book form but uh no this is not a book about sexy chick um this book is about amazing effects that's how they translate it but basically what this book uh talks about is how to um panel your books i know this is probably one topic that a lot of tutorials kind of like skip over even even in youtube or how to draw books but this is why i purchased this book this book uh talks about uh, choosing perspective, choosing angles. Let me see. It go right here. There you go. For example, um, showing the notion of distance and speed right here. This is like a straight off shot versus an angle shot. And obviously, which shot is more dynamic? The angle shot. So this talks about more dynamic poses, uh, choice of shots and composition. Again, this is, you know, showing a full a full body shot versus a really up close tight shot which one do you guys prefer so and it talks about reasons why you would do it this way um perspectives vanishing points you know the difference between just showing a building straight off versus showing a building looking up that gives you the sense of height and scale and i have to say that in my last couple of um books that I've drawn or comic pages that I've drawn, even though there's a lot of like random technical issues, I truly, truly appreciate the fact that my composition wasn't uh, half bad. And then it goes into a little bit about perspective, viewpoint, looking down versus looking up and what that means for storytelling. Um, again, straight off shot versus angle shot, which one's more dynamic. So this is definitely for those of you who may have found that you're uh, composition has been kind of lacking or the story doesn't feel as dynamic and since this explains why you would do something a certain way um, you're able to go ahead and make your own unique dynamic uh, compositions it also goes into uh, the choice of the style for your sound effects the source of your child for your word balloons I really like I said this is probably the book that really kind of uh, put my artwork up a notch 
and I figured one of you guys would like one of these. So as you can see, the cover had nothing to do with the book. Now this was another kind of mini series called the um, How to Draw Anime and Game Characters, um, but it was part of the How to Draw series and there were so many uh, aspects in here. But um, let's go here. This one, the reason why I liked it is for, I kind of like the older style of drawing, but also it went into more of, you can see I really use this book, of the perspective such as drawing headshots and I know for a fact that I still need to improve on drawing headshots, um, angles, um, and then general motions that uh, these are the ba basics that you need to cover. So you have running, um, angles running, even showing about how you deal with the folds, um, going in with the details with the clothing. And this one deals more with uh, very precise action shots. And I like it also because you have different kind of body structures and not just, just the thin, pretty, you know, delicate characters. So if you're into doing either fighting or perhaps you want your characters to be a bit more realistic in the human sense, like it's actual, you know, bodies that look like they can be real flesh people and not something that would snap like a twig, this is definitely the book for you. And again, you can see, I, like I said, I, I really use this book. Take this sticky note out. Um, angles and stuff. So this is a good book for anatomy, um, overlapping, and all these things. So in case this is the type of thing you like, and it has a nice little interviews in the back, but this is another book that I highly appreciate and recommend. So perhaps this might be the book you decide to pick. <laughs> Now these two, uh, these are the manga computones and that was back in the early days uh, before Manga Studio was a thing or figuring out how to make my own screen tones manually in Photoshop was a thing and this book basically talks about different variations of styles of uh, manga tones and how to render certain things in tones. Now because it is a computone, because this is a computone book, um, they go a little bit excessive on how much screen tones you're putting on there and since it's digital, you don't have to worry about, you know, the cost of tones, but um, it's really mostly to demonstrate different toning techniques. I would not layer as much tones as some of these illustrations go for. There's a real importance for uh, enough white and enough black showing through, but this also talks about the density of the dots and what they each represent. So this really helps for when you're going to go ahead and make your own tones in Photoshop, how to make them yourself and what each percentage and um, um, dots per line inch represents. So it gets a bit technical on that. Um, this is very much, so you can see it's giving you the example of the finery and things like that. Um, the difference between contrast, light, mid, really dark, and it all depends on lighting and stuff like that. And it, it like I said, it, it goes in an explanation, uh, different kind of rendering. But the thing about it is, it actually comes with tones. Now, I'm using the latest Photoshop, which may or may not be able to read into the CD. And the CD is pretty old. I didn't take it out all that much, but um, it's possible that... Because from what I understand, CDs do expire. So if you do pick this one, there's a possibility that the CD doesn't work. But on the bonus side, if you do decide to get the How to Draw Computones, you're going to go ahead and get both of the books. It just, it just kind of makes sense. Um, and it goes into things like how to airbrush properly, the settings how to use tone for expression, rendering different kind of uh, clothing textures. So all in all, it's a pretty good book. And the second one, but these are not tutorial heavy, so don't take this for only its tutorials. Um, I did the NECA because I needed to see an example of how to render um, metal or try to show different kind of textures and stuff like that and to be frank a lot of the how to draw manga series books felt like they were very new to drawing 
So they're they're not new. They're better than me, but they're it's obvious now. I'm getting to a point where I'm like, yeah, I can see that they weren't. It's not something that they typically do. But then again, you have beautiful things like this showing up. So if you want to get an example of Mecca and perhaps you can figure out a way to ex extract the um, manga tones because this is an older older CD then possibly um, this is pretty cool then possibly you can go ahead and get this this set last but not least now for this book I probably could sell it pretty well on Amazon um, this is a book that's pretty much recommended actually this is not last but not least this is second to last uh, recommended for all the rules of perspective and this is very useful for um, basically anything with perspective but what I mean is uh, I plan to make a how to draw backgrounds cheating video and in order for you to understand that video uh, you need to know certain basics of perspective because the cheat is really for if you want to know, understand the basics how to go ahead and extract things and get things going so it goes ahead and tells you a lot of things and it does has a bit of like a shortcut or um, cheats towards perspective once it explains to you certain things and there's quite a number of things and it gets not too technical because the whole thing is done as a comic so you can see the examples and it's done as a dialogue but such as showing things that are far away or close away um, what the picture plane is which is very important I'll probably um, talk about this on a separate video just to give you an introduction to it horizon and vanishing point cubes 1.2.3 perspective circles in perspective and the human figure how to draw things where they all look like they're in the same perspective line and things like that so gives you a lot of examples and like I said it's done as a sort of comic book um, demonstration see right here three point perspective um, the difference between actual perspective and isometric uh, squares depth of field it gets really into it so this is definitely I mean you just have to know how to do these things how to actually use a perspective grid which by the way you can go ahead and find if you look at perspective grids online you should be able to find a bunch of downloadable grids but it's kind of difficult for you to use a grid if you don't know the actual basics of using a grid or being able to draw your squares in perspective so there's just so much good stuff in here the angles and it explains it so if you want something like this it's perfect for well actually it's perfect for anyone you don't know your basics of perspective you kind of need to know them there's no way for you to draw backgrounds without knowing your basics in perspective now the actual actual last book and that's the DC Comics Guide to Digitally Drawing Comics. Um, I know they had other things such as inking and coloring and whatnot. Um, for the inking book, I didn't. I flipped through that, and it's pretty good if you're going, especially for traditional media. There's a lot of good how to ink uh, books out there. There aren't as many how to ink YouTube videos, I don't think, but there's plenty of demonstrations. Of uh, comic artists working on those, so those are probably a good idea. But basically. I bought this book just to see if I could make my workflow far more efficient. This is very much Photoshop heavy uh, and it doesn't really talk about how to draw things or how to color things but it goes into how to make your comic from start to finish in terms of preparing your board, um, optimizing your workflow, so let's see what the contents here, uh, the tools that you will need. Um, getting started in Photoshop, uh, using digital or maybe like a mix, half digital, half pencil, which I kind of do off and on. So if you continue on watching my video and subscribe, you'll see me kind of flip through different methods of making comics. And it's mostly because I haven't really officially settled in yet. And plus, I believe in experimenting so that way you improve and perhaps have some happy accidents. Um, things like the master page, which is basically uh, their version of a template, um, ha creating digital libraries, um, and all this kind of things. So let's see here. 
it tells you on how to set up your Wacom. So obviously, because it's an older book, there's a number of things that may not actually work, um, such as customizing your Wacom settings. Wacom has updated a lot of their drives, so it, they're pretty intuitive that you can use it right out of the box. But um, you can use this to kind of help you up in understanding what to do. Or for example, they talk about backing up and a lot of it is CDs. Um, some computers now are being shipped out without an actual CD drive, which is okay. Uh, but I use a portable hard drive and I also use the Google Cloud. And then once I'm done with that, I pretty much uh, print high resolution, high resolution um, hard copies because you never know when the world is ending. So... Like I said, it's very, it's very Photoshop heavy. You can see where I, I dog ear a lot of things. Um, creating custom brushes, which there's plenty of YouTube videos on creating custom brushes, but I really like this because it focuses on dealing with like black and whites and stuff like that. Um, how to do textures. Oh man, I really dog eared this area. This is probably the area that I, I care for. And I'll probably look back on this um, before I ship this out. So this is definitely for those who really want to use like a digital workflow and maybe help you out with things here. He talks a little bit about setting up a perspective. So I would say this is probably a book for maybe an intermediate person, probably someone around my level or maybe a little bit lo lower, a little bit higher where you're still figuring out your your efficiency of developing comics. You've already drawn comics. So the drawing part is something that you don't really need books on, just practice. But you might want to maybe brush up on your digital stuff. So yeah, folks, that was the review for my How to Draw Books and Digital Giveaway. So again, if you would like to have one of these books, just go ahead and comment below the title of the book. And then um, I'll just randomly pick a commenter. I'd also like it if it's possible to go ahead and share this video on social media. Just tag it Citria, C-E-T-R-I-Y-A. And I'll go ahead and find it. And from there, from the sharing and the commenting together, I'll just pick a lucky winner that's in the U.S., the U.K., or Canada. And I will ship it out to you guys for free. Yep, for free. It's coming out of my pocket. So uh, now that the crazy holiday shipping is, for the most part, should be done, and the post office will less likely lose the packages, that's when I'd like to send out these lovely gift giveaways. Mm -hmm.